it was a great game. It was a great game, man. How about it, man? The Minnesota Lynx outlasting the Phoenix Mercury. The Phoenix Mercury, they ain't no punks, man. They ain't no punks. And I told y'all, I said that I'm not going to discredit or disrespect legends. I'm not going to do it. Um, Diana Taurasi, BG, Brittany Griner, you know, they showed up, contributed, you know. So I give them that. But um, Natasha Cloud, um, I said she would be an X Factor. She showed up and she was ready to rock and roll. She went for 33, man, 33. Diana Taurasi, 21. Kalea Copper, big shots down the stretch. Again, man, this team, they they got champions on this team, man. They not finna lay down. And salute to the Minnesota Lynx for figuring out how to get this thing done. Feet and her teammates got it done. But um, just understand that this thing was, was never easy. I don't know if you guys seen this game or not, but um, it was a great game, man. I mean, because you, I, I put it to you this way. So the Minnesota Lynx looked like they was going to run away with this thing. And then Phoenix, they decided, you know what? We here too. And we've been to play so hard. And they played hard and they got back into this thing. Um, the Lynx had to show some incredible steel resolve. They had to reach down deep. Um, and the thing that I really like about the Minnesota Lynx, be, okay, here's what I really like. The Fija Carrier scored 38 points. But they didn't sit there expecting for Nafisha Collier to score all of the points. You know, I mean, 38 points. That's a excellent, tremendous, ultra incredible game. You know, 38, I don't even know if the actresses I used was great enough to describe. I'll just say this. She had a man-boggling game. 38 points, man. 13 for 14 from the free throw line, 7 boards, 4 assists, 11 for 19 shooting, 3 for 5 from three-point range. But here's the thing. As great a performance, as dazzling the performance was from Fee, her teammates did not allow her to do this alone. And that's imperative because you got to have help. And I hope that the Aces, they got to help. They have to help Asia Wilson the way that the Lynx teammates helped um, Fee tonight. Bridget, Carl Bridget Carlton had 12, but she had a critical three-pointer that gave the, the Lynx some breathing room late to put them up 98-92. Basically sealed the deal. Clutch Carlton. Um, what else? Elena Smith. So I told you guys she can step out. She can hit the three. She can rebound. She can pass. She blocks shots. She's a do-it-all center. For real. And then Courtney Williams didn't have her best night, but she was there when she was needed. Um, nine points, nine assists, six rebounds. Um, Maisha Hines Allen came off the bench with 10. Um, this is this is just a team, man. They just play hard. They play together. Um, and then Kayla McBride, she dropped 20, um, three three pointers, set all hit all seven of her free hit all seven of her free throws, had four assists, four rebounds. Um, Kayla came up huge. Um, this is a team, man. They just they just different, man. You know how we always say they different. Well, Nafija is different. This is Nafija had an amazing postseason last year but she's even better than that i freaking love this lynx team man like i love this lynx team and i'm going to say that look i'm an aces die hard fan but i love this lynx team see for me i was watching to see what would happen down the stretch if they would let this thing slip let it go nope they didn't let go they buckled down um the mercury wanted this thing more specifically um, Natasha Cloud, man, she was like, hey, I want this to the tune of her 33. I mean, she came out here and, you know, we didn't even see Natasha Cloud like this too much during the season. I mean, we seen her do her thing, but like this, like this, you know, so if if this keeps up, man, they might still a game. 
you know, but of course they're going to have to steal the next game or the series going to be over. But uh, the Lynx knows they can't play with anybody, man. Can't play with your fool, your number two seed. Treat yourself as such. Play hard as such. Um, but when I look at a player like Nafisha, man, yo, the sky is literally the limit, man. Like she, I guess, I guess the Lynx knew what they had in her because I wasn't sure they knew. Um, I always knew that she was lit. Um, congratulations to her and her teammate. Y'all just got to keep playing hard. You know, you and your teammates, y'all just got to keep going hard. Got a great coach over there. Um, but I was always wondering, I was like, I wonder if the Lynx are going to try to build a contender around her or is she going to have to go somewhere else? And um, the, the Mercury could do nothing with her. And I don't think nobody can do nothing with her. You know, I... I just don't see it. Um, I mean, that's not the only reason why I had them penciled in as my WNBA champions, but uh, they the real deal, man. If the Aces don't get it done, man, be rooting for the Lynx, man. But I'm going to tell y'all like this to, to bring the video to a close. This was a huge win for the Lynx because you let this one go. Yeah, they could win the series, but then your back is against the wall. So right now they got a little breathing room. They can go out and play. Um, of course, freely as they do anyway. Um, this is an unselfish team. Believe that. Um, and I'm looking forward to see, you know, see how this series uh, uh, shakes out. Great game. Great first game. Intense. Drama field. You know, salute to Phoenix for fighting back and not laying down. But uh, before I go, man, Bridget Carlton, she is her. Look, this team is incredible for Incredible in the sense that they got multiple closes. Nafisha can come down, close you out. Carlton can come down, hit a big shot, close you out. Kayla can do it. She can hit a big shot, close you out. Courtney Williams. Look, man, they just play this game, man. And I love the way they play the game. So they up 1-0. We'll see what happens next game. But for right now, Minnesota Lynx are in control of the series. But seeing it's a best of three, hey, things could switch fast. So they got to go ahead and get rid of Minnesota. Uh, they got to get rid of Phoenix. You cannot go play a decisive game three in Phoenix. Why should you even want to? So we'll see if the Lynx are who they say they are. Next game is everything. With that being said, like the video, subscribe, comment, and I'll get back at y'all. I'm out.